Hello, and welcome to the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. I'm Joseph Patrick. In this week's episode, I'll be talking about the growing need for battery logistics and some important information about the European Union's new emissions system. But first, I've got another fun logistics fact for you. Now, have you ever heard of a freight submarine? Well, during World War I, a need was discovered. How can we get supplies past battleship blockades? Well, the answer came in the form of a submarine, and while efforts were made to make commercial submarines for shipping fast, they were eventually discarded. It turns out that ships are far cheaper to build and operate, so I think it's safe to say the shipping submarine suggestion sadly sunk. Well, if you like that, then stick around to the end of the episode. I'll have another fun fact for you. Make sure to subscribe to Crane Worldwide Logistics on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, X, and Instagram. And be sure to follow Coffee with Crane on your favorite podcast player so that you'll never miss another episode ever again. Well, as electronics become more ubiquitous, so do the batteries we need to fuel them all. But shipping batteries can be downright dangerous. Lithium-ion batteries in particular are among the fastest growing markets on the planet. Current global sustainability regulations and demand for electric vehicles are set to push the market further than they had imagined. In fact, it's been predicted that over 25 million EV units will be sold in the next year alone. The supply chain behind making these battery shipments is still maturing and evolving, so in some places the need outweighs the availability. A lot of industry talk has been specifically around shipping batteries by air, which presents several core risks. Unlike other dangerous goods, the relatively commonplace nature of lithium-ion batteries means that they may be viewed as harmless goods. In reality, they are dangerous goods, and a failure to comply with the regulations can lead to significant incidents, costs, and penalties. So how does all this affect you? Well, first and foremost, make sure that you're following specific safety and compliance regulations set forth by individual governments. Due diligence will save you a lot of headaches. Stay abreast of the laws and follow them. To learn even more about battery logistics, head on over to craneww.com and look through our battery logistics page. In our next story, back in 2005, the European Union Emissions Trading System, or ETS for short, was created as a market-based mechanism to tackle greenhouse gas emissions within the European Union. And the goal is to create financial incentives for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and promoting a transition to more sustainable methods in the industry. Shipping companies will be required to submit allowances equivalent to a portion of their emissions according to a schedule. Initially, the program targeted energy-intensive sectors such as manufacturing and power generation. But now the system is progressing to include shipping. Starting next year, the ETS will encompass shipping activities within the European Economic Area, or EEA. The EEA consists of all EU member states, Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway. Under the new law, carbon pricing is determined based upon vessels rather than cargo. The law also has extraterritorial applications alongside introducing carbon pricing for vessels traveling between the EU countries. Therefore, vessels that sail between an EU port and a non-EU port are also impacted, and half of the emissions from the voyage will be subject to the EU ETS. So how does this affect you? Well, ship operators will be required to monitor and report their emissions. They'll also surrender allowances for every ton of CO2 they emit. Valued units, called European Union Allowance, or EUA for short, must be purchased and submitted to the European Union each year for every one ton of reported CO2. This does apply to all shipping companies who are responsible for buying EUAs. EUAs can be purchased on exchanges such as ICE, EEX, NASDAQ, as well as from over-the-counter markets. Well, what do you think? Do you believe this is a worthwhile effort? Let me know in the comments section below. And for even more industry intelligence, simply go to craneww.com and look through our Knowledge Center page. Here, you'll find other trade advisories to be aware of, market updates, and industry insights that can help you keep your shipments moving the crane way. Well, that's all the news I have for now, but I owe you another fun logistics fact. And since we're in the Santa season, did you know that Santa has a deal with all governments to access the world's tracking systems and flight paths? In North America, for example, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, tracks his flight every year, and they don't goof around over there at NORAD. Well, I hope this week's episode will help keep you on track until we meet again. And as always, give me a like, share, comment, follow, and a five-star review. It all helps. So, until next time, I'll have a hot cup waiting right here for you on the next episode of the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. Goodbye.